Now we picked this up for 1,500 pounds. <laughs> lads, there we go. So, 120D sport bar is what's glass stars anyway. The aircon is like cold, real cold and it works. We come to a spot where we're taking the photos of the car. I've got a new camera now, Canon M50. <sighs> right guys, how's it all going? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Luke and you're watching LBTV. And today, we're back with another episode of the £515,000 challenge and the title says it all. We're explaining how much I've actually made so far and it is a hefty number if you think from where I started was £500. It is ridiculous to what we're on now. Um, it's been a minute. It has been a minute because it's, I don't know what's gone on. The market's just gone weird for the price range in which I'm trying to buy cars from. So it's extremely weird and strange but don't you worry, we've got the laptop here. We're gonna go through every single bit of information. I wanna give you guys all the info because what we're here for is to make some money, isn't it? That's what we're here for, we're here to make the cash, the cashola. So, let's get straight to the laptop and uh, talk about from the beginning. You know, let's go through the figures. And by the way, we have got another car. It's outside, we'll talk about it in a minute. Um, yeah, we'll go through that at the end. So yeah, let's let's start from the very, very beginning. Obviously, five hundred pound budget. I kind of messed up and ended up spending seven hundred pound the first time around because if you remember, we had that Safira and the clutch was sipping and all sorts of bad bits were going on. So it wasn't the greatest of starts. We overspent on the first go. So with the car itself, was four hundred ninety-five pounds. And then the clutch was £205 to get done, so in total it was a £700 spend. And so that happened. Yeah, that was, yeah, like I said, not the best start. But we moved on. We, you know, we recapped and I thought, look, we'll give it another go. We'll go through auction. I'm sure we can do fine again. We then moved on to the uh, Golf. So the Sphere actually sold for £1,000, I forgot to say that. Uh, moved on to the Golf next. So we've got £1,000 to spend. The Golf cost me £576. It was actually pretty good Golf. I think it was a 1.6 petrol. Add a fair bit of miles on it, but it doesn't matter because you've got to find, if you're getting something for a bargain, and then and you know it's a bargain, get it. Don't miss out on an opportunity. One thing, guys, never miss out on an opportunity, especially with buying cars, because if it's there and you've got the money, take it. Even if it's one little thing you've got to sort, if you think about it in the long run, it's gonna, if it's gonna make you money like a week later after you've got it sorted, get it done. I mean, it's an opportunity. Is just, you get such a bad feeling afterwards. It's horrible. But yeah, go £436. Now we had four hundred and twenty-four pounds spare cash after that to spend, and we had to spend some of that because it needed coil packs. Luckily, I diagnosed a problem with my OBD reader, scan code reader. Um, you can pick them up cheap on eBay if you need one, guys. It's really super easy. I'll try and find one and stick it in the description down below. Uh, so that was thirty-four pounds for the coil packs. So in total, um, it was, uh, so you take the, take the 34 pounds off the 424 pounds, that's 390 pounds spare cash we had. And then we ended up fixing that and then sold the gold for 1,350 pounds, plus the 390 pounds spare cash we had left from uh, spending everything. So it's 1,740 pounds in total, and that's the second car. So we've already gone from 500 pounds to 1,740 pounds in a space of like two weeks from you know two cars it's ridiculous you know money making in the car trading game it is up there you can earn some serious serious cash so that being said 1740 that's 1740 pounds now to spend fabio vrs next we bought for 900 pounds that was actually a really cool car i really thoroughly enjoyed buying that car driving it and selling it as well. So it was 900 pound, that left us with 840 pounds spare cash. Lovely car, like I said, you know, I had a great time with it. Um, we ended up selling that Fabia then for 1,750 pounds, and then we had 840 pounds spare cash, which gave us a lovely total of 2,590 pounds. So we've always, almost already, within three cars, made a grand from the previous car, which was 1,740 pound we had. Uh, we're now at 2,590. Which is crazy, guys. This is how quick you can make cash. And I think I sold that in a week as well. So if you're making that sort of money in a week, why are you sat at home taking a monthly wage for like £1,500? You could be out doing this, making money like that. It's super easy, super simple. Obviously, you've got to stay in the rules and regs and the, all the legislations and everything. I can, it's just, yeah, there's loads of rules, but read up on it all, or I will put it in another video. Um, so there, yeah, that's Fabio VRS, lovely car. We moved on with £2,590 £2, to spend. 
Fiesta ZTKS TDCI. What a car that was. I got that extremely cheap, guys. Like I said, I had an opportunity for that. I wasn't even really looking. I had the opportunity to come up. I took it because I know what the value was. That's a good thing to do as well, guys, is keep updated with you know the value of cars. If it, it, it does fluctuate in the market, I usually check eBay for the average prices. You can check Auto Trader and other comparison sites, but eBay usually gives you a good rough idea for what the sort of cars are going for at that moment in time. So I bought that for £1,000. That means I have £1,590 in spare cash. So I lost of spare cash. It's always good to have spare cash because if anything goes wrong, you've got the money there to spend it and fix it. Um, so yeah, that spare cash. We then sold the Fiesta because that was an awesome car. It was modified. It was absolutely sweet. It was stunning. Not many marks on it. A team dynamics on. What a car. We sold that £2,350. Well over 100% profit there, guys. £1,350 in profit. So if we had the 2350 onto the 1590, so £1,590 spare cash, that leaves us with £3,940 now. So about four cars, I think it's four cars in now from £500, and we're almost at four grand already within a space of like a month and a half to two months. So you can see, you know, if you're fully grafted and doing this all the time, if you're making that sort of money within like a month, you are laughing and I'm, you are definitely laughing. So we've got that cash now. Um, moving on to the Fiesta ST150 after that. Now this one wasn't really, you know, this is my sort of video explaining to you guys which is not always, not always going to win within a trading game. And it was a very good example. Uh, I bought a car for £1,500. It wasn't amazing. Uh, a few little niggles, a few little problems. I just wanted to get rid. So we had £1,500 for that, plus a 2440 spare cash. We ended up selling a Fiesta on for £1,650, made £150 profit. Got it out of my way, got it gone. You know, it's not my problem anymore. It's someone else's. And then we've got a 2440 spare cash. And that gives us a total of now £4,090. We're at the, over the four grand mark there after five cars. Even though we messed up um, and the car wasn't great, we still made a bit of money. And, you know, if you're not losing, you're still winning. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that. And then we move on to the most recent car we've just done, and that is the BMW 120D. We bought that for £1,500. Now, this was a steal. This was absolutely incredible. I'm so happy with this car because... Um, I paid £1,500 for it, that means we had £2,590 spare cash left. So, that means, well, we actually ended up selling, to be fair, that car was really good. It was, I didn't have a problem with it, it had a full service history, low mileage, is low, lowish mileage for the, you know, for the age of the car, it was a 120D, I, I can't remember the year, I think it was 2006 or something, 2007, um, still low miles for the year. And that sold for 2995 I paid £1,500 for it. I doubled my money. It's crazy. So, with that being said, 2995 sold at 124 plus the 2590 that we had spare cash, we are now, guys, at £5,585. And I started from 500 quid. If you're doing it at home and you're you know, on the same sort of record, same track as me, Congratulations, honestly, just keep following what I'm doing. You're gonna make money, like you will make money. It's easy, it's doable, and to be honest, it's you know you can do a bit of it on the side throughout the year. If you want to work as well and do this on the side because you're allowed to sell a certain amount of cars, I think it's six or eight cars you're allowed to have within the year uh, before you've got to start getting like a trading license and things like that. But yeah, five thousand five hundred eighty-five pounds, absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, let me bring you guys over and um, show you guys how. I basically find the cars, what to look for, etc. And then we can show you guys the new car. Okay guys, so I want to talk you through the, um, you know, the way I do things. As you can see, I've got two tabs open up on my computer here at the minute. I've got eBay on the right here and then Facebook on the left. So what I do is Facebook Marketplace, um, I set myself, you know, a radius between, you know, 30 to 50 kilometers usually. It depends how far you guys want to travel. If you want to travel further, you can travel further. Um, and you can add over to vehicles and then have a good look at what's about. Now the reason I have these two tabs open, I do have others as well like Auto Trader and at times, but uh, I'm just going to do it simple today and show you guys a bit more easier way of doing things. You can use Gumtree as well, it's, it's entirely up to you really what, is, what sort of works for yourself. Now we can float through all these cars here, um, you can set yourself budgets from the side, you can set yourself mileage, what you're looking for, and then what I would usually do is go down, find the car, Say for instance, um, so say for instance, let's go have a look around here, see what we can find. It's got a little, little polo here, 56 plate, it's 
done a fair amount of miles. You know, it's done 103,000 miles. Someone wants 1,200 pounds for it. It's uh, it's in blue. Let's find out what it is, uh, what litre it is. It doesn't really say, to be fair. Um, it's got your reg check. Let's do a reg check. Let's get another tab open here. That's a good way to check this. Free card tax check. Enter registration. Uh, so what, what's the registration at? KM56 YTD. KM56 YTD. Free card check. It tells you what it is. Uh, so it's so a 1.2 petrol. Right. So if we go to eBay now. Type in VW Polo. 1.2 petrol. Or even 1.2. And then what I'll do. So it's it's a 2000. It's a 56 plate. Uh, 2006 103k on and what I usually do is go straight to eBay and then you want to go to lowest price and then just have a look compare it so this person wants uh, 1200 pounds for this one so we'll go back onto it 1200 pounds they want for that probably knock them down to about you know 900 quid a grand um, but let's have a look see so 2005 one here there is is that a bit different or not I think it's a bit different to be fair it looks like a new model it looks like the model changed shape there but based on the headlights, yeah, so it's a bit of a different model. So that's the older model, I'm guessing it changed around 2006 mark. So 2002, 2007, so we've got one there, 2007, um, it's done 97,000 miles, less miles, and it's 995 pounds. So that one's a right off straight away, you can see, you know, there's other ones here, there's another one right there, that's done 65,000 miles. It's just pointless getting into it, guys, it's not worth it, um, it's not worth your time. So you come straight out of that, and you just keep searching basically until you find something, and once you do find something, Go out and find that car. Um, there's plenty of them on here on eBay. You can do it the same with Gumtree. But I just like comparing to eBay because obviously it's a fixed market where a lot of people buy their cars from. Obviously, Auto Trader is good as well. But obviously, for the market, I think that I'm in at the moment, if you're in between the, you know, starting off from 500 between, I don't know, like eight grand, eBay is a good place to start by looking for your cars, uh, comparing basically price wise. But you've got to remember as well, area makes a massive difference. Now, me being on the south, a lot of cars seem to be worth a lot more down here than they do up country. So you've got to take that into consideration as well. But um, yeah, that's that. Anyway, guys. Let's move on to the, uh, the newest car. So I was searching far and wide, trying to find this vehicle. I, it was my niche market. I was looking for ages. And um, it got to the point where I actually found one local and I was extremely happy with it. So yeah, without further ado guys, here's a new car that I'm selling and I believe I'm gonna make a stream amount of profit on it. Right guys, so yes, another Fiesta ZTKS TDCI. Now, why have I gone and bought another one? Let me jump in the car and tell you guys exactly why. So yeah, another Fiesta ZTKS TDCI. This one's 2006, it's done 106,000 miles, and do you know what the best bit is? It's had one lady owner from you, and it's been kept here in Plymouth the whole time where I live in Plymouth. It's been kept in Plymouth from new with one lady own how crazy is that i think for 1050 pounds which is what i paid for it is an absolute still an absolute bargain now i know a lot of you guys are going to be in the comments saying luke why didn't you go out and buy something with the 5,000 odd pounds that you had to spend and, um, you know, get some profit from that? The way I look at it is I stick to what you know, all right, guys? Um, if you're at a price bracket, so say for instance now I've got 5,000, I can't remember how much it is, I've got this off my head, 5,000 something pounds to spend from my 500 pounds that I started with. Um, I've got, I'm in a price bracket at the minute in which I can buy cars like this and be comfortable. If I go out and buy a five grand car, and you know it's more of a high-end sports performance car or something that's going to require a lot more money to fix if something goes wrong you've got to remember that you've got to put that into you know you've got to put that into consideration guys because say for instance if i went out and bought a um say for instance like a focus st like put like one that was running like a fair bit of power you know i got it for like five grand 
say if it needed about what a grand's worth grand and a half worth of work if something went wrong like that would put me set up pocket these fiestas and all the other cars that i've been selling recently and i sold throughout the series is cars i know well it's you know you you get you kind of get that niche in the market where you know what's going to sell you know what doesn't break and you know what's going to make you the money nice and quickly and easy and that's what it's all about when you're flipping cars you want to flip cars nice and easy and very fast you don't want to be hanging around you know you don't want the cars to be hanging around for too long because it'll be pointless it's gonna be money sat there in which you can invest in something else and you just don't want that happening guys you want to you know want to be snappy quick you want to get the car gone get another one back in and away you go again i know i'm saying all this because and i've been away for a while but the reason i've been away for a while is you know you've already you already know that anyway but yeah that is why guys i've bought this fiesta it's got full service history yes it's 106 000 miles but that is nothing for these i can easily guarantee i can go out and sell this for about two to two and a half grand make myself a grand profit at least double my money again that's all you've got to worry about guys don't worry about if buying something that looks nice and fancy does it matter like if you're buying something nice and fancy no what matters is is that you're making the money that's all that matters that's all everyone cares about that's all you got to do guys is go out and make that money but anyway you've seen all my tips and tricks that i've explained for you guys today you know how much money made so far now and you know what this car is for well you know what this car is going to basically go up for and what i bought it for so stick in the market if you're on my sort of budget at the minute um if you're at a 10 grand mark or if we're getting close to the 15 grand mark i am going to change things up and you'll see that as we go along because we are gradually getting very close up to the 10 grand mark from five um 500 quid but i can't believe that guys from 500 pounds we're already at the money we're at right now it's just unbelievable and this car is going to tip us way over six grand so it's sweet but anyways thanks for watching today's video if you've enjoyed it slap the like button hit the subscribe button and turn the bell notification on for every single time i upload i'm going to try my absolute best guys to bring you all these money making tips and these 500 to 50 000 pound series you know but the actual series out itself i'm gonna bring more videos of it out because i really want to it's you know it's so informative and so helpful towards you guys the the feedback i get is amazing and i know a lot of you have missed out on it and i really really apologize but let me know in the comments down below guys if any of you are getting involved in the series as well and buying your own buying and selling your own cars because you know i want to i want to get involved i want to hear what you're talking i want to hear what you're selling i want to see what you're selling you know tell me your cars that you've been selling and tell me like your problems you've had because you know it's good to communicate and you know take your problems because it's not always plain sailing in the trade anyway guys thanks for watching today's video i'll see you next one bye bye for now